Welcome everyone to Jen's Joyful Kitchen. I am going to teach you today how you can make fish in a hurry without even heating up the oven in our brand new deluxe air fryer. So you can see it right here. Lights are flashing, because guess what? It's ready to cook. <laughs> so if you are new to my page, I want to welcome you and I want to just have you share where are you from? Where are you watching from? Are you watching from Minnesota, someplace else? Share where you're from. So we have this brand new piece of equipment that you are going to love. Now, I've had mine for a while now, testing it out, doing all kinds of fun things, and I truly have been amazed at how it actually cooks, but also what it can replace in the kitchen. So if you see this here, you can see that it's a different, maybe different size than other air fryers on the market. And what's really great is I'm gonna teach you how you can make a meal for your family in it and actually have it feed all of you at once. So I think that's one common complaint with other types of air fryers on the market is that you can only serve like one or two servings out of it. So this one is actually gonna have you not only make one or two servings, but you can make up to six servings for a meal. So let me tell you about the air fryer and then I'm going to get into making this delicious crispy air fried cod and it's gonna be done in nine minutes. So that's how quick and easy it is. And I'm gonna roast vegetables in there at the same time. So it's all purpose, all kinds of fun things happening with this deluxe air fryer. So what you're gonna notice on our air fryer is actually it has lots of different functions. So right on here, we've got air fry. Now air fry is something you definitely want to have access to. So maybe you love those frozen foods out of the freezer section but you know they're not as healthy, right? Well, when you air fry them rather than deep fry them, you're going to have an opportunity to make them a little bit healthier. So with that, you're also going to have an opportunity to do things like maybe you like to make homemade french fries. Well, guess what? You can do that and not have to worry about dunking them in oil. You can simply toss them in one tablespoon of oil for the whole batch and you can use this right here, this is our rotating basket that actually spins inside the air fryer. And how, why is this important? Because then you don't have to sit and rotate the fries and flip them over. You can put other things in here, anything that you need to rotate where it says flip it over and you're gonna find that this does the work for you. So air frying, you're gonna see a whole chart in here about what you can air fry. Of course, you can use your imagination too, I'm sure. <laughs> So I want to know, do you have an air fryer? Have you thought about getting an air fryer? What are some things you think you would make with it? I would love to know that. Um, what about roasting vegetables? Now I think roasting vegetables is really a great place to start if you have a family that doesn't really like to eat a lot of vegetables. Roasting them brings out the flavor, brings out their caramelization, sweetens them up a touch as well. So we have a uh, air fry setting, but we also have a roasting setting right on here. So you could roast meats, you could roast vegetables, you can do whatever you would normally roast in there. So there's a whole chart in here about roasting your vegetables. How long does that take? Then you can also, of course, make chicken, fish, seafood. Um, you can do beef in there. Like you can make hamburgers if you wanted to. Salmon, salmon is delicious in here. So you have air fry and roast. You also have bake. So maybe you like to make a quick dessert, but you don't wanna make a whole like 48 number of cookies because you know you'll eat them all. Maybe you just wanna have two cookies because that's how many you want to have in your house because that can help with portion control, right? When you don't have access to it, you can just bake up a couple. What's awesome about this air fry is that you don't have to preheat an oven. You don't have to preheat it at all. It's like a little mini oven, but you turn it on and it instantly is hot. So you don't have to wait the 10 minutes that your oven would normally take to heat up. So you can also, so we talked about air fry, bake and roast. Um, on the other side, you have the opportunity to rotisserie. Now, how many of you actually go to the store, buy a rotisserie chicken, seven, eight dollars, and then you, you know, take it home and do whatever you want with it, of course. But what if you could actually make it yourself? And chicken, you can get a four pound chicken for less expensive. You can control the ingredients that goes on it. So you're not having to think about like how much salt did they put on it if you're watching your sodium. And this is a spit that actually comes with the air fryer. So you get all these accessories with it. And so you just put your chicken on here and then this is gonna rotate as well. 
Another great thing, pork loin or a whole head of cauliflower. Or maybe you just want to roast some, or not roast, but rotisserie, um, like some chicken thighs. All of that. You, have, you can do all of that for sure. Then you also have reheating. Now, how many times have you maybe made a homemade pizza? I like to make homemade pizza. And you have one slice left and you know you want to have it for lunch the next day with a salad, for example. Or you want to just heat it up quick for the kids. You can just reheat and it's set already for a five minute. You can always adjust the times, of course, but the air fryer will reheat, keep that crust crisp, crispy without getting it soggy. So really cool thing about that as well. And then not only can it do all those other things, but it can also dehydrate. So maybe you wanna make your own apple slices and dehydrate them. Maybe you wanna make your own beef jerky. Maybe you wanna make pineapple slices and dehydrate them. You have all kinds of options. And so not only does this air fry, so it's an air fryer, right? But it's also, it can replace your toaster oven or even your toaster, because I actually just recently made a whole bunch of um, egg breakfast sandwiches and toasted six egg or egg English muffins at a time in this, in less than five minutes. So it was such a great, efficient way to actually make all those. And I did a whole dozen of sandwiches and popped them in the freezer. So now they're ready to go for breakfast. So not only can it be an air fryer, it can also be a mini oven, it can also be a toaster oven, it can be a dehydrator, and it's also a rotisserie machine. So you have all kinds of machines right in this air fryer. So tonight I'm actually making a really great recipe that is all about fish. Now I wanna know how many of you eat fish once a week, or you wish you could, or you'd like to, but maybe you just don't for one reason or another. Let me know in the comments if you like fish or if you have a, a problem with making fish at your house. What's your biggest issue with making fish for meals? So this is actually the one I'm gonna make tonight, which is crispy cod. So it's really simple and I'm actually going to just start the process right here for you so you can see what's going on here. And I've got this cod right here, four nice chunks of cod. You want a whole pound of cod that's just cut up in, in fillets, just like that. And then what I'm going to do to give it just a little bit of moisture, because cod is one of those fish um, varieties that it's a little bit on the leaner side, which is good. And so we just wanna add just a little bit of mayonnaise to the top. Now, why would you want to do this? Well because we can actually put our crust on the top and it's going to stick then. If we didn't have anything for it to stick to, it's just going to fall right off onto the trays and we want it to stick. So we just, this was only a quarter cup of mayonnaise, so it's not that much. And you just spread it around just like that, right on top of your fillets. And then the next thing, is I have this mixture of panko breadcrumbs and then a little salt and pepper, and then I'm using our garlic and herb rub. So this is a really good, I wish you guys could smell it through the camera. And we've got that along with just two tablespoons of melted butter. So I'm just gonna pour that in. And I always use my micro cooker to melt my butter because do you ever have trouble when you melt butter and it explodes? So this is a great way to do that. <laughs> Keeps it under control. No need to clean up the microwave every day, right? So you can see how it gets kind of chunky, just like that. A little bit, it just gives it a little bit of a um, stick togetherness for the panko breadcrumbs. And then what happens is you just put them right on top of your cod and you just kind of smush them on a little bit. Doesn't that already, it looks good to me. I really like cod, it's really good. So you do that with all of them. Really simple and easy. Now, what happens once I get them in there or once I get them done, you simply, with the fish, we would put it on the top rack, which is right here. So that would be how that goes, if you can see that a little bit. Let me just turn this up just a touch. And then, the other awesome thing is it comes with two racks. So this is great because you can cook your vegetables on this rack. So what I've got here is just some veggies that are just tossed with a tablespoon of oil and a little salt and pepper. Now these are frozen vegetables. So a lot of times I will have frozen vegetables in my freezer really quick and easy to get them cooked up. A lot of times I microwave them and steam them, but you know what I have found 
My family likes them a lot better when I roasted them because it just brings out the flavor that much more. So put those on. And then this actually will cook up all at the same time because this will actually sit down on the bottom rack. Now, this has a little drip tray. And what's great about that is you can actually put vegetables on here, like I'm going to do, and let them actually cook up. So if you have a little extra vegetables, you can totally do that. Just let them sit down there. Now, this whole meal, once it's ready to be cooked, cooks in, get this, nine minutes. That's how long it actually takes. I set it on the roast setting and it takes only nine minutes. So how that actually works is that you just simply turn this dial and you can just land on whichever one you want to and then you're gonna see it's got a preset time here. So this says 10 minutes and then it also has a preset temperature. So it's all done for you. You don't even have to think about, oh my goodness, how long should this go in? No. Nope. You can, you know, if it's roasting, depends on what it is, of course, but it has a preset. Now, if you want to actually change the time, you totally can because you can just press um, the center button and then adjust the time. The other great thing is it has a custom setting. So if you simply want to make something at a really high temp for a short amount of time and there's a setting not, you know, specifically right what you want, you can just do that. And super easy to clean up, those racks that I put the food on, dishwasher safe, the bottom uh, tray, the drip tray is just hand wash. And then these pieces are also, also um, dishwasher safe too. It also comes with this retrieving tool so when you are using the rotating uh, basket, you can actually get it out really easily with that. Now, it does come with all of the recipes in this book including all of those different charts, you have the opportunity to get this air fryer starting now because it just launched and it's super exciting. So I have the link that I'm gonna be posting and if you have questions, I want you to drop me a note. I want, you to, I want to know like what do you think you, the function you would use the most would be and what kind of foods would you use with the air fryer? What would you make with it? I'd love to know that. Now, you also have the opportunity to host your own party this month and you can get it for half price. So think about that. It's super easy to do an online party and I make it really easy for you as well. So I would love to help you. If you have other questions about the air fryer, I want you to stay tuned all week. I'm gonna be featuring different things that I've been making with it. And it's been really cool to not have to turn on the oven so much. And I can only imagine once summer hits and you don't want to heat up the house, this deluxe air fryer is going to be something that we're going to be using like all the time, along with my quick cooker, still using that, and my deluxe cooking blender, still using all of those things. So these three appliances in my kitchen get tons of use. So with that, ask me any questions below if you have any at all. And I want to know, what do you think of the deluxe air fryer? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.